Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R360 server. In this video, we're going to specifically talk about supported operating systems and we're going to show you how to install Windows Server. So let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today. It's a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R360 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything that helps you in this video, click that like smash that subscribe. All right, let's hop in. Uh, this video, what we're going to do is going to be specifically dedicated to supported operating systems. So what we will do in the beginning, we'll, we'll start with putting up a list of the compatible supported operating systems. Then we're going to kind of hone down and focus on Windows Server. And we're going to show you how to download Windows Server. Then we're going to show you how to create a bootable USB how to put your Windows Server on your bootable USB, and then how to do step-by-step -step instructions on installing it into your server. So let's just hop into all the good stuff. So what are my supported operating systems? Well, let's just go ahead and throw some up. So Windows Server to start, it's gonna be 2019, 2022, and the new 2025 are all supported. You're gonna have VMware ESXi 8.0. Yes, I know, not everyone's still still fans of VMware, but it is supported and it will work perfectly. Then there's several Linux operating systems, which I'm personally a big fan of. You're going to have Red Hat and Ubuntu, for instance, but here's some uh, supported Linuxes. And if there's something that you like that we didn't include, hey, do us a favor, drop a comment down below. Let the other users know. Everyone likes to know some of the great operating systems that are supported by uh, the, the wonderful server that we have here for the R360. And if there's any other supported operating systems that we didn't list, hey, do, do us a favor, drop a comment down below. Uh, keep this up to date. People will like to hear uh, what else they can use. And maybe there's something that you found that's perfect, that is better than what's up there, that's not on Dell's spec sheet, and people will love to hear that. So uh, do us a favor, let's, let's keep this relevant for the community and help everybody out. Hey, this is Mason with Cloud Ninjas, and today I will show you guys how to install Windows Server 2025 locally onto your Dell PowerEdge server. So all you need is a server with enough storage space available for the installation, and you can do this with an external USB, an M.2 SSD, with an adapter, a SAS or SATA drives plugged into the backplane. You can do this a number of different ways. This process does not require an active network connection on the server. All right, so first thing you'll need to do is go to the website link and download the English ISO 64-bit version and have that file ready to be put on a bootable USB. So now we will show you guys how to create a bootable USB. So just go into your browser and search up a program called Rufus. Download the program once it is done downloading. Go ahead and run it and plug in the USB you are planning to put the ISO file on. Under the device in Rufus, make sure that you have the USB drive selected. If you only have one USB drive plugged in, it will select the device by default. Leave everything under the default settings and then click the select button and choose the ISO file from the previous steps. Click start to begin creating the Windows Server 2025 installation USB drive. All right, so now we're going to install the Windows Server 2025 into our server. Take that USB drive and plug it into the server. Boot up the server and during post, you'll press F11 to enter the boot manager. Then you will select one shot UEFI boot menu. Then select the USB drive you plugged into the server and hit enter. This will boot straight into the Windows Server 2025 installation. This first screen that pops up will ask you for the language, time, currency format, and keyboard or input method. For us, it is set to English United States, which is what we want, so we'll leave it as it is. Click next when you have your desired language, time, currency format, and input method selected and you will click install Windows Server, and in this box that says, I agree, everything will be deleted, including files, apps, and settings, and then click next to begin the installation. Now we will pick the specific operating system that we want. In our case, we will choose the standard evaluation desktop experience. This is different for anyone wanting a different operating system, but for us, we want to install this specific one. Once you click next, you will need to accept the terms and conditions for the operating system and click next. Now you will select the location for where you will install Windows Server OS. As you can see, it located these disks and is asking if where we want to install the OS. We will choose the disk zero with 148.5 gigabytes of free space. Click next. Now you will just click install and begin the installation. Once the installation is complete, the server will reboot and it will boot into Windows Server 2025. And that is how you will install Windows 2025 into your Dell PowerEdge server. 
Hey, do us a favor, click that like button and smash subscribe. If you're looking for any custom built 16th gen, 15th gen, 14th gen, uh, we do it all. Uh, we also do HPE, Supermicro, IBM, Cisco, even Ryzen servers. So just go ahead and give us a call or email us at sales at cloudninjas.com. That's sales at cloudninjas.com. Anyways, guys, thanks for stopping by.